Good evening, truckers and friends. It is Sunday, September 22nd at 10.47 p.m. I just got done with my 34-hour reset at home. I'm getting ready to hit the road. I'm headed to Joliet, Illinois to deliver the load that I picked up on Thursday out in Ohio. And it has to be delivered to an Amazon at 2 a.m. And you can't be late. I have a couple of local runs to do this morning and then I'm picking up a load this early afternoon, Monday, early afternoon, to head to near San Antonio, Texas to an airfield. Ooh! You know how I like airplanes. You know how I like airplanes. So I'm looking forward to that. It's outside of San Antonio near Austin. Oh, I can't remember right now. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when I get to Amazon. So I did not catch up with you at Amazon. I had to sit in the holding lot and wait for them to call me for a dock. Um, I got a dock and dropped the trailer there while they unloaded it. It took them about 45 minutes and I was back on the road. I'm picking up a load here at the Home Depot, which is going back to our yard in Rockford and somebody else will be doing the final leg of it. Uh, I'm not even sure where it's going, but I got here at like 3.30 this morning just to see if maybe my load would be ready. It has a window of time to pick up between 8.45 this morning and seven o'clock tonight. So I was thinking maybe possibly they got it done last night and it would be ready to go at 3.30 this morning. I was really hoping it would be, but it wasn't. So I dropped my empty trailer here and then I bobtailed over to the, um, there's a truck stop just a, a couple blocks away. I went over to the truck stop and I was off duty there for about four and a half hours and came back over here at nine o'clock so I'm going to go in and I'm going to check to see if it's ready yet. I highly doubt it, but we'll go see. I'll let you know what they say. dog. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so just as I assumed, I went in to check to see if it was ready, and it's still not ready yet, but the gal at the counter says maybe it'll be done in about a half hour to an hour, so I am still sitting here waiting for another hour. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. All right, I finally got my load, so I'm heading back up to Rockford so I can drop this up at our yard and the next person will take it to Wisconsin. And then we're going to Dixon and Texas. Well, let's roll. We got chickens on board. Got all the feathers everywhere. <laughs> Scooty can smell them. Like, what is that smell? It smells delicious. Come on, I-80. Westbound heading to 39. feathers. Taking their last ride. My truck is dirty so I'm getting a feather dusting. Ah, ah, ah. Get it? Feather dust? Never mind. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Look at all them chickens. Look at all them chickens. Like, oh, such a nice breeze. Such a nice breeze we're getting finally out of this stinky barn. <laughs> that is terrible. Poor little 
chickens. Poor little chickens. 115 in the middle and 123 on my side. Good morning, truckers and friends. Good early morning. It's Tuesday, September 24th at 3.11 in the morning. And I'm just coming through the town of Henry, Illinois on I-29. I left the Road Ranger about a half hour ago where I spent my 10 hour break. And uh, I'm heading down to Texas. Del Vale, Texas. To an airfield. <laughs> September 26th at 5.45 in the morning. I'm in Houston. I delivered a load down in Del Valle, Del Valle, however they, my GPS says it all French-like. I don't know why. Uh, Del Valle, D-E-L-V-A-L-L-E, -L -L -E, which is down near Austin, Texas. I delivered a load there yesterday and I got a new load that leaves. I ran out of hours by the time I was done with that. So I came back to the yard up here in Houston and I got a load this morning that's going out of Houston up to St. Louis. So that's what's happening this morning. I spent my 10 hour break here at the yard and uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. I already did my pre-trip. The trailer was marked as empty and clean. Well, it was empty, but it wasn't clean. So I went back there with my leaf blower to blow out all the dust and debris that was in there. It was still dirty and it was still full of like wood pieces and stuff. So. Whoever marked it clean, you didn't do your job. <laughs> I have a different, I have, a, I'm very particular. I like things clean when they're supposed to be clean. And I mean clean. So, like, I don't go back there with Windex or anything. You're babbling. Okay. Let's get on the road. I gotta go pick up this load over here in Houston. It's 25 minutes up the road. And then we'll hit the road up to St. Louis. It's due in tomorrow, I think. So, let's go. Good Friday morning, truckers and friends. It is Friday, September 27th at 6.53 in the morning. I am in uh, BB, Arkansas. I am on the outer western edge of the hurricane that's coming, that has come up through Florida. What is that? Hurricane Helene or Helen or Helena or something like that. Uh, and it's looking pretty nasty to the east of me. Yeah, my kids are getting hit in Tennessee, so, yeah, I'm saying some prayers for everybody that's being affected by this. I hope it's not too bad. I know that schools are getting closed and things like that, so y'all be safe out there. Hopefully the winds aren't too bad. Hopefully there's not any flooding that's too bad, but uh, the radar's, just, radar's uh, looking a little, a little hairy out there, so be careful. I'm going to be heading up to St. Louis and I'm kind of heading 
away from it here shortly. I'm not sure how far to the west it's going to swirl, but it's definitely swirling west right now and coming towards me at this point, but I think I'm going to be kind of curving up to the northwest and uh, getting away from it, I hope. It was raining just a little bit for about, I don't know, a minute and a half. Just enough to clean my windshield finally. I wasn't able to record anything because my, my windshield was just full of bugs. And But, uh, of course, then the camera does not focus when there are bugs on the window very well. So, now we got some footage. I got up and got rolling about 3.30 this morning. I stayed at the rest area in Texarkana. And right now, I'm on US 167, headed northbound. This, uh, my GPS says I'll be getting to my location in St. Louis at about 12.15 or so this afternoon. So I've got several hours to go. But we'll keep you updated. but it has moved over to the west quite a bit to where I am. I'm in a dark green area as far as the radar goes. It's a little bit windy. Definitely raining. Coming down pretty hard. So, this is my day so far. It's 8.22 on Friday, September 27th. And, uh, I have four hours to go till I get to my destination. There's a car on the side of the road. <laughs> 